Welcome Tauruses. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is this um, period of uh, September or whenever you pick up this reading. We are going to be looking at the energies, what your Tauruses have to deal with um, when it comes up to business, work and career. So Tauruses, Tauruses, Tauruses. Miracle healing to some sort of issue, situation. There was a whole lot of conflicts around you, whatever that was happening and transpiring. Um, whatever was happening to your business, I see some sort of a resolution, miracle um, resolution that is going to be coming out to you Tauruses who have a, what a problem with your business. There is a whole lot of communication there is things that some of you uh, Tauruses was not seeing that was happening at the work floor and around you. And I see um, that whoever has some sort of issues with your business, there is going to be some sort of a miraculous uh, resolution to this. So let's look at what is transpiring. Please remember um, these reading, uh, there's an extended um um, part to this reading so if you'd like to pick up the extended um, you have to use the link below to get to the website so what we're seeing here is that uh, um, the communication is not really the strongest key that is happening in this um, month or this time period that is transpiring communication is really off um, and whatever is happening and transpiring some of you are not seeing exactly what has transpired. I see a whole lot of you are worried because you weren't seeing and you were not aware of what is happening. Money is going to be here for a lot of you, but it's as if, because um, um, you have number 88, which is um, very good, um, twice eight is coming up. So some of you are going to be worried because you're not seeing what is transpiring. Some of you business is going to be slowing down. Some of you are really worried about, uh, um, um, your staff. Some of you, you have to communicate something at the end of the month, which is not going to be good. Um, because some of you realize that, uh, um, your business is not making, um, any, um, uh, um, uh, there is more loss in your business or there is more loss in your department. Communication seems to be a huge problem um, in this month. So um, communication is not clear that is going to be coming up in this month. So be aware of this or this time period whenever you pick up this reading. I see truths are going to be coming out, the, the energy of the star. Truths are going to be coming out. A lot of you are going to be dealing with the Geminis. You're going to be dealing with the Scorpions. You're going to be dealing with the Aquarians. Um, you're going to be dealing with the Sagittarians. You're going to be dealing with uh, um, the Leos um, at the workplace. So at the workplace, you could be dealing with these people, especially... Um, the Aquarians at your workplace uh, and the Scorpions, uh, uh, the Leos uh, and uh, um, the um, Sagittarian. And I see whatever the issues and situation that some of you are dealing with, uh, a Sagittarian and a Leo at the workplace, I see some sort of a miraculous healing is going to be coming in because some sort of a shift of energy is going to be coming in in order to remove these people or these issues and situation that you have been dealing with. Some of you are going to be finding out that these people have miscommunicated some information to you guys that is going to be making some sort of a shift of energy around you because um, you're going to be realizing that these people have um, um, give um, you know advise you in the wrong way, and it's as if um, beginning this um, period you're going to be finding out that these people have been really working on um, some miscommunication, misinformation, misinformed that is coming up. Some of you are dealing with a scorpion, whoever the scorpion is, I see you're really having some sort of a headache with this person. There's a lot of communication. There's a, the, there's a, some sort of a conflicts 
and uh, um, some sort of uh, um, issues that a scorpion has created. You're dealing um, um, with a scorpion and um, a, an Aquarius, a scorpion and Aquarius. And I see that there is some sort of a misuse of information um, that you're going to be finding out that some of you were either misinformed about a situation. You have a whole lot of regrets um, because you've gotten false information that brought you in a position that you really um, are thinking, Jesus, um, why haven't I opened up my eyes to exactly what was going on and transpiring and looking deeper in situation instead of taking um, information from people. And you're going to be definitely having some sort of a regrets if you're a manager, um, if you're um, on the work floor, um, some sort of the information that came to you and you sign off on it without even investigating this um, situation. And now you're feeling really um, bad about what has happened and has transpired because now truths are coming out and you're seeing that a scorpion and a Sagittarius has brought you, a scorpion, a Sagittarius and a Leo has brought you in some sort of a, um, problems uh, um, that they created around you. And you're realizing how you have been used um, in some sort of a way. And I see that you are really kind of trying to figure out and working out um, this issue. So this month of September, it's about you um, seeing the truth of what has transpired with an issue and a situation. And there is just a whole lot of misinformation that was given to you that have let you make some sort of a decision and you're going to be trying to resolve it. So the center is, um, of, of this period is about a regrets, 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 regrets about some sort of a communication that you had received, regrets about an Aquarian, regrets about some miscommunication that a Sagittarian has given you, um, regrets that you had collaborated or worked together with a Sagittarian and a Leo, it's just a whole lot of regrets. It's coming out for you, Tauruses. So, so whoever had business and whoever had some sort of a um, conflict and situation with other people, I see some unexpected healing is going to be coming in. So let's look at these five weeks. Um, this five weeks is coming and showing you in the first week, which is going to be a yes week, whatever is coming in in this um, first week, um, the first week and the last week is going to be a yes. Okay, whatever decision you want to make or change, it has to be in the first week or in the last week. When we look at the second week, a lot of regrets. I regrets that this whole month is going to be carrying or this whole five week period is going to be carrying you because of some sort of a misinformed information, some deceptive uh, um, play that you're going to be finding out at the end of the month that has transpired with a mis um, communication that a Sagittarius has gave you and you did not stop to research this and you're going to be finding out uh, what a Sagittarius and a Leah has done. And then um, as we look at the third week, uh, um, there is some sort of a shift of energy where um, slow down is coming in the third week and I see the slowdown is created by some sort of a false height. So it could be that someone um, creates some sort of a situation um, for your company and um, it could be bad name or slow down in the department because people could be sick. There is less people. However, this is happening. There's some sort of a slowdown that was created and this uh, slowdown is created by false height by other people and now the information now you're trying to figure out uh, how this has affected you and your your team and um, what has been happening and transpiring and i see you are going to be um you're very you're so regretting whatever that has been happening and transpiring so much regrets is coming up for you tauruses because you're seeing that the slowdown has created some sort of a loss um, for you and your department, for you and your company, for you and your career because of some sort of a mis 
information and miscommunication that has happened and transpired. As we move and we're going to be looking at these um, three weeks together first. And these three weeks together is about uh, slow down. And it has to do with some sort of information you were waiting for for your business. There could be that some of you were looking for some sort of an investment or some sort of a financial um, stone for your business or for your department or for the group of people who you support or um, for you and your co-workers. But um, this slowdown is going to be taking away a lot of hours from a lot of people. But as you come to the last five weeks, some sort of a unexpected, uh, miraculous situation is going to be coming in that is going to be creating a really positive shift for um, in order to um, give you some sort of a support, financial support um, to move forward in the next year. Because a lot of you are sitting down in September and said, yeah, I can't go on any longer because uh, um, my business is um, not um, creating the sort of um, a result um, that you wanted to have. And I see um, you are going to be realizing that uh, some sort of a miscommunication about either your business, either about your position, or some sort of a miscommunication. Someone could have been trying to create some sort of a problems for some of you, and um, you're going to be realizing this, and it's going to be trying to create some sort of a um, um, equilibrium in order to um, bring back some sort of a positive energy. Um, around you, someone could be trying to ruin your reputation and write some bad write up about your business. That sort of a thing is going to be coming up and it's going to be transparent. So, at the end of the month, you're going to be finding out that a scorpion has deceived you, a scorpion has told you and gave you full in, false information. Whoever the scorpion is, have deceived you a lot because the scorpion could have worked on um, your emotions in a sense that it could be someone that is working for you. And this person has been, oh, um, you know, I'm having this, I'm having that. Um, I can't pay the bill because of this and because of that. And you're going to be realizing that the scorpion has been just using and preying on your emotions. And here you are, your business is not doing good because whoever the scorpion is, has uh, um, been using some sort of a uh, um, mental um, image that is keeping you from, you know, going forward to say, no, I'm, I need my bill to be paid. But uh, it's as if this person is playing on your emotion and as if this person knows how exactly um, to play you out of a situation and you're like, hold on, but I'm losing business here. And it, you are just realizing what this person have been doing. And this is coming up in the second week. And this, if you notice, um, this created a whole lot of issues because it's as if this person keep on, yes, 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 it's going to be coming in, the payment is going to be coming in, or yes, 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 this issue is going to be a result. But it's as if they are um, giving you um, false information. And you have been relying on this person that, yes, this bill, this situation is going to be resolved before you take it further. And this person has just been playing on your emotions. And I see as a business person or as a supervisor or as someone um, in the department, it could be some sort of a work that should be coming in or some sort of a product that needs to be delivered. So some um, manufacturing could have been raw material. However, this is coming up. Is as if a slowdown is created because of um, a co-worker or someone that has given you false information and has created a budget that doesn't work and the budget isn't working. However, this is transpiring. It's as if this person has created like a budget and now you're seeing um, that this budget isn't working. So it's affecting your business and it's affecting your livelihood. Um, for some of you, it is some of you are waiting on some sort of a um, 
uh, projection growth to come in so that you can make decision with who, who you're going to be cutting in um, and cutting off and the hours that you're going to be taking away from people because uh, um, you do not have the, the materialistic um, financial stability in order um, to protect these workers. So it's a lot. It's, it's as if someone, maybe an, a, um, a project that was uh, um, set up has not worked out the way. It is costing the company more. It is costing you more. And I, I see that you're very, very disappointed and you are like, why didn't I take a, a much closer look at this? So it could be you um, that is in this problem where um, you make um, um, an, um, pr a budget for a project, a budget for the year. And now you're realizing that your um, incomes is not uh, um, good. And um, now you, you, you really see um what is transpiring that you have to make some huge changes so this is really coming up for some of you um and if you're not a manager it could be that you got caught up in this and you have to sit with people in order to create some sort of a resolution in order to protect your workers however this is coming up or um you're going to be finding out that uh, things in your in your um, company isn't going good so you're going to be start worrying whether or not uh, um you're going to be getting a note at the end of uh, the year so there is um definitely a lot that is happening and transpiring there's no question about this but it's about keeping the faith whatever is transpiring and happening so Taurus says, if you want to see the extended of this reading to see what is going to be coming out in this five week period use the link follow us and uh, Expect some unexpected miraculous healing that is going to be coming out. Don't give up faith on this because it's going to be working out. I love you guys. I got to go. If you want to see the extended, I'd love to see you on the other side. If not, I am saying have a good five weeks. Namaste.